Hey Wargamers, welcome back to the channel Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron. And I'm Kevin. And we're back tonight, Mission 4, Awakening the Dragon. Hopefully the final and decisive battle in this campaign, which yeah. I think it will be. Yeah, we'll see. Well, so we've got basically the Red Devils, the Aka'oni, coming to uh, Kuzu. Um, you know, they staged a brilliant invasion, Thank totally you. crushed Thank you. the Donegal forces uh, in Mission 1. Um, but then the Donegal managed to rally, right? He went for the killing blow on the escort. We managed to fend that off. Um, and then we kind of went into counterattack mode last week. A few heads were lost. A few heads were... <laughs> <laughs> the guys lost their cool. <laughs> I'm, cur I'm currently putting the head back on the Centurion in uh, the it's gonna be all It's going to be all red and black, but I'll have a coming blue, out a blue head. Yeah. <laughs> so... Right, so that was a big victory for us. So, yeah. again, you know, campaign victory points. You've got two, I've got three, so very close. Yeah. So this will be decisive. I need a victory to either draw or pull ahead. Right. Otherwise, I think you're going to take it. That's right. So so this has been exciting. Um, so tonight, uh, because I was the winner last week, I got to pick the mission. I picked a pitched battle. This is just a straight-up slugfest. Uh, the seventh are going in, trying to just decapitate the head from the snake. This is where we shine. <laughs> we, we need to restore honor, so we're looking for blood. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't blame you. Um, so it's 7,500 PB. Um, yep. Let me tell you what I brought to the table tonight. So uh, we've got Abstract in his Jenner. So this guy made an appearance in Mission 1. You toasted his engine pretty good. So he's been uh, been in the shop for, <laughs> for, for a little <laughs> bit. But he's ready for action. He is the last remaining light mech on my roster. So... Um, if I lost him and we went to mission five, I could be hard pressed to field a, a full lance. Um, the second mech for the first time I'm fielding is a hunchback. Uh, now this is the variant, it's got the AC-10 on it. I played with some, some criticals. It's got four medium lasers as well um, on this particular variant. And uh, I brought um, Hauptmann Jean von Strassenbusel. Um, <laughs> and he's in his Orion. Oh, and you I'm... write your own lore, man. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that's not going to be my character submission uh, for the Kickstarter. Um, <laughs> but so he is the the company commander. Um, first time we're bringing him out to the table. It's an Orion, which are expensive to begin with because of all the armor that they pack. Uh, and he's my most elite pilot at two three um, gunnery piloting, respectively. So he's a bit pricey, but I'm hoping that the, the tough armor and the low gunnery pays off. Um, and then I've got Bubbles. She's back. Bringing those <clears throat> delicious PPCs and the AC-10 to the table. Uh, so looking forward to getting her back in the action. So overall, well-balanced lands from small to large. Um, so we'll see how it does. What do you got? All right. Well, I didn't have a lot of choices going into this. Right. So this wasn't really an optimized lance. But it, it's fitting the BB by just a short margin. Of, yeah, a couple hundred. Within yeah. a couple hundred BB, yeah. So CO's back. He needs to restore honor. Mm. And he may not return home. <laughs> um, the exterminator. Yep. Uh, Wraith. Yeah. So he's looking for vengeance, and he All brought right. what he could out of the mech bay to counter your attack. Um, so I got the um, Wolverine following him oh, up to 6M. That's a tough dock there. Standard 6M loadout. Yeah. I think I dropped some ammo for armor or something along those lines. Gotcha. Um, and then I have the Wolfhound 1A. All right. Standard pretty much loadout. And then Solid performer. Daisho, who's the Catapult K2. Uh, he has not appeared yet, <sighs> so he's been itching for a fight. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know why I was saving him, because I've had great success with that Catapult K2. You have. I was going to say, the last time that Catapult was on the channel was against the Free Worlds League, and he just never missed. I mean, it was just a non-stop barrage of 20 points of damage every turn, so... Knock on wood. <sighs> you know, repeat performance. God. Well, listen, so we, we talked about the forces, we talked about the mission, uh, so next thing, we'll check out the battle grid, and then we'll get the dice rolling. So guys, stay tuned, that's coming right up.
Here we are on Kuzu, approaching the highlands where the Draconis Combine first staged in. Uh, the Lyran Commonwealth, the seventh Donegal, they've deployed here along this edge. Uh, we've got Abstract and the Hunchback, Glassjaw here, Bubbles and Lich there um, in the bigger max. And Kev, on your side. Just a straight formation here. Got the heavies in the middle. Nice and tight. Got the later fellas on the outside. You ready for this? I hope so. All right, guys. Well, we are going to roll Ask me for around five. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that again. Turn one, mission four, after movement. So, um, seventh Donegal moved uh, second because we did win initiative. Uh, so, Kev, why don't you tell us what, uh, what you were doing over there with the old Red Devils? Basically a forward advance. The UV right. catapult, a little slower than the rest, but everybody else is at cruising speed. Very cool, and I do I do notice there you are taking cover in the uh, the damaged ruins of that outpost. Very snazzy. Um, I didn't do anything too exciting here. Uh, the Jenner and the Hunchback moving out uh, here using the, the forest hopefully as a shield uh, to some degree. I've got the bigger guns uh, moving forward up on the hill, so that's about it. Uh, so we will be back in just a moment. With are turn you just inferring that my men are cockroaches hiding in the ruins? I would never do such a thing. You are gonna die. I was definitely inferring that. <laughs> yes, I will. I will exterminate you momentarily. Mm. <laughs> All right, stay tuned. Turn two coming up. Turn two, we're back. Uh, so we have missiles flying. Action is happening. Uh, the seventh one initiative, second time in a row. But I always hate winning initiative early because I feel like. I'd rather win them late in the game. That said, Kevin, tell us what you have done here. Well, we did a little tricky business. So Wolfhound cut off. Um, Catapult came up the middle, and then the Exterminator and um, Wolverine basically did a hard flank towards the center. Uh, but what's coming at you is just the initial opening salvo, LRM-10 at that Orion. Gotcha. All right, well, I have the Jenner moving up. Uh, there's a full three inches of woods here, so by rule, he's basically obscured uh, from that catapult's PPC fire. Didn't even know he was there. Yeah, he's just invisible, uh, like a ghost. Uh, the Hunchback moving up, careful to stay out of range of those PPCs, however, uh, wandered into Wraith's LRM range, luckily, not coming at him. Um, Bubbles climbed up the rock here, and she's going to be uh, firing her LRM 5 at the catapult. Um, good line of sight, except for that right leg is blocked. Orion uh, stood still 
on the top of the hill, nice commanding line of sight, and we'll be dropping some LRMs in on that catapult as well. So, shooting, coming up now. All right, Wraith, the exterminator, shooting LRM-10s over at that Orion. I need seven. <laughs> it's one of those nights. I hope so. All right, so moving on to the Commonwealth. All right, Bubbles and Lich sighting down the catapult across the field. So we're going to start with Lich in his Orion. Uh, now, Lich is a uh, two-gunnery. Elite. So he needs a seven to hit. Also, he did stand still this turn. So looking for a seven here. Got it. Uh, so I want to roll for clusters. This is an LRM 10 on this variant. All right, so that's 10 points of damage. We're going to hope for triple ones. <laughs> All right, so five to the CT, five to the left arm. And we're just going to roll right into bubbles here. So she needs a 10, a little bit harder to hit. She was negotiating that rocky terrain over here, looking again for a 10 down on that catapult. Here we go. Nails it. She's on fire this campaign. Could be an MVP. All right, but only a minimum damage cluster. Two points. Here we go. Uh, left leg. So actually, Kevin, that is no damage because the left leg Ooh. is obscured from her line of sight. Well, no, so, the right leg. Oh, you're right. Your My left. left. Well, you know, ly Lyrans are not very good with left and right. So uh, it is, in fact, two points to left leg. Thank you for that honesty. You're such an honest guy, Kev. So un Draconis Combine of you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so moving on to turn three, coming right up. Turn three, movement recap. So, Kevin, you snagged initiative on a roll off this turn. So I had to move first, um, and it was a little bit of a lengthy movement phase, uh, definitely, I think, critical in terms of positioning. So essentially, you know, we did, we did alternate, but um, what happened, I'll tell you on my side first, um, the Jenner just turned uh, one hex facing, did not move. Um, I'm reluctant to get him out of cover until I can take full advantage of his uh, four mod. And with the turn and getting up and over the hill, I would have been down to a three mod. So I did not want to take that risk. Um, the Hunchback kind of came around and pivoted. Um, he has clear line of sight to Wraith. And so he will be firing his, a uh, his AC-10 across the battlefield here. That'll be at long range. <clears throat> Bubbles coming down off the rock. She's going to be firing her full uh, long range complement. AC-10, two PPCs, LRM-5, also going at Wraith. Um, and then lastly, the Orion uh, firing AC-10 and LRM-10. Again, both of those at Wraith. So, what do you got going on? All right. So, <clears throat> more or less a forward advance, except for now the exterminator sort of pulled out wide and the Wolverine cutting in towards those woods. Uh, boosted up on that hill, but the other guys are just running full speed. Um, Wolverine, large laser coming in at the hunchback. Mm. Same thing with the Wolfhound, large laser coming in at the hunchback. Exterminator, LRM-10 at the hunchback. And the catapult, two PPCs at that hunchback. So, well, it's hunch about to get real. He's getting in the back. Yeah, yeah, it's about to get real. Well, hopefully uh, he survives. I regret not moving him further, but such is life. So shooting is coming up. We'll kick it off with the Donegal Guards. All right, Glassjaw up first, firing at Wraith, the commanding officer of this nefarious Draconis Combine Force. Uh, so Glassjaw is going to need a nine to hit here. Here we go. All right, that is a miss. So we're just going to roll right into Lich. Now Lich needs eights across the board. I will be group firing here. Hopefully we can get something good. Uh, so it looks like the AC hit. Gonna roll up location. All right, so that's 10 to the center torso. All right, so Bubbles up next. The big assault. She laid some hurt down on Wraith's buddies last time. Uh, so this is what we're working with, but I need 10s to hit. She ran, Wraith has a three mod, gunnery three, long range, so lots of crazy stuff going on. Uh, so I am going to just regular old chain fire these. Here we go, looking for tens. 
LRM5, miss. PPC number one, miss. PPC number two, oh, God. come on, give me something bubbles. Almost, but no cigar. All right, so that means we're gonna move right into the Draconis Combine shooting. All right, decoy, the Wolfhound, shooting that large laser across the way at that hunchback, needs a 10. No good. Next up, the Wolverine doing the same thing, suffering a little cover from the trees, so it needs a 10 gotcha. as well. No good. You killed a tree at least. Yeah. Forest <laughs> fire maybe? <laughs> the smoke blows in which direction? There's a table for that. Um, so who's up next? Uh, I think we're going to go with Catapult. So mm -hmm. the two PPCs, I am going to need an 8. <laughs> Taking the hair off the top of ah, the LRM back. 10. Come on, exterminator. Uh, I'm going to need a 6 on this, so this will be very depressing if I miss. All right. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank Double you. seconds. Looking for clusters. One of them. All right. All right. So right, right arm. arm. Yep, sounds good. All right, so that is wrapping up turn three shooting, turn four coming up in just a second. We are back, turn four, zooming in on the action. It is getting bloody. So initiative, I won, it was a miracle. I rolled four, you rolled two, um, so it was pretty bad. Um, so why don't you tell us, Kev, what you have going on for the right. Akaoni Red Devils. The Wolfhound pivoted, coming right in at that Jenner hot. Mm. It's gonna be a high speed collision if they're both booking it. <laughs> Um, but he's firing his three mediums right from the torso into that Jenner. Exterminator went straight ahead. He's going to be firing at the Orion with four medium lasers. Um, PPCs coming down from the catapult, who's on top of the hill now, at the Orion as well. Mm. And then the Wolverine coming around at the edge of the woods, squeaking it through past that rock pile there, um, giving the full salvo, except for the large laser. So two mediums, I believe, and a SRM-6 into that hunchback. Okay. So on the seventh side, what did we do? So the guards, the Sorry, Jenner. Correction, yes. just so it's for the- For the record, for the on record. the books, this is important. The Wolverine is firing one medium and one large. Got so it. So swapping the medium with the large. Yep, got heat, it. Heat management. It's, pro, it's a pro skill that you have uh, fostered. So the, uh, the Jenner here, remember last turn he pivoted, was able to get that mod, uh, did have to make a, uh, a downhill reckless movement, which is admittedly a house rule that we love, uh, to avoid that, that uh, movement penalty going downhill. Just barely made it with his piloting skill of five. So he was able to claim that full plus four, uh, which I'm excited about, and will probably help against that Wolfhound. Um, but he is going to be torso twisting and firing three medium lasers at the exterminator. Uh, so Lich here calling out the primary target as wraith. So all four of my mechs firing there. Uh, Bubbles standing still. Um, she has trouble driving and shooting. So she, she's just gonna plant <laughs> firing two PPCs, AC-10, LRM-5, the Orion Lich barreling down off the hill, scanning with a sweet twisting torso. Mm. Don't forget to watch our magnetization tutorial. Uh, he's gonna be firing at Exterminator as well. Um, with an AC-10, two mediums, and an SRM-4. And then lastly, the Hunchback, bravely coming out of cover, uh, guarding that left flank, will be torso twisting, firing at Wraith, one AC-10, uh, and four medium lasers. So uh, some, some light heat to be generated here, um, but nothing unmanageable quite yet. So I expect that paint job to get peeled pretty uh, quickly. Man, well, <laughs> Wraith has been awfully elusive as he has been in the last two missions and yeah, it's been unlucky, managed to... Unlucky, rather. <laughs> yeah, well, we're going to see if we can, we can again, decapitate the snake. He so, wants it. Bring it. <laughs> <laughs> he wants an honorable right. death. All right, cool. Well, shooting, turn four, coming up now. All right, decoy, coming in hard, three mediums. I need ten. It's not impossible. The dice are with me. You're... you're Group firing, it's ballsy. Go big or go home. All right. All right. Whoa, you landed two. So that is, go hey. big or go home, I like it. Double headshot, Jenner's dead. Wow. 
That's the owl from the trees. The Wolverine uh, doing his salvo into that hunchback. I need, what do I need? I need sevens across the board. That's with everything. So I got a large, medium, and an SRM6. A nice little Sunday. That's an ugly Sunday. Mm. But you hit with the yes. SRM. That's six delicious. Yeah, I know you love rolling clusters. Uh, it's something we learned watching you play the Kintaro. Look at that. Not too bad. I mean, that's right on average. Whoa. Close, but no cigar. Thankfully, so. no floating criticals. Right. Looks like right arm and right leg. Yeah. All right. I think the hunchback will live to fight another day. All right. Catapults up. Needs eights to hit those PPCs. Still don't like it. But that Orion has got. I'm, I'm not even gonna say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, left leg. Left leg. All right. So what do we have left? Wraith and his exterminator. Mm -hmm. All right, Wraith, the Orion. He needs sevens with his medium glow show. <laughs> Looks like a full house. Still pretty good. It's gonna force a piloting check with that PPC hit. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so by our house group fire rule, that second headshot will transfer down to the CT, but still, yeah, already head hunting. And I got that leg again, left leg CT mm. head. That's brutal. All right, the seventh Donegal guards are up. Again, I know I'm pronouncing that. What is the what is the the other the I don't ultimate know. fact. Uh, one of our subscribers did send me the correct pronunciation, but uh, I think it's Donegal or... Donneja? Yeah, that's it. It's French. Most <laughs> definitely, this is a French unit. Uh, so, <laughs> the, uh, the Banshee, Bubbles, firing down at the Exterminator. We're going for a kill shot here. Just, we're going to do double head. Can't happen. But it's going to happen. We need sevens to hit Kevin. Not can all be perfect. Not ideal. Not ideal. Looking for the cluster. Okay. Rolling for location. Not terrible. Not great. So we got a little left leg and a little left torso. All right. So the Orion is up. Torso twisting. Firing at Wraith. I love playing with my Max. Is that weird, Kevin? So, I got a medium laser, SRM4, AC10. I'm gonna need a seven on the AC, eights on everything else. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Hmm, all right, at least the big gun hit. It's another left leg. All right, so 10 more to that left leg. Maybe we can knock them out. All right, we're back with glass jaw in the hunchback. Four mediums, one AC10. Needs some abysmal numbers here, eights and nines. Here we go. Ho! Oh. All right, well, um, unfortunately, I need nines on the medium lasers. But again, the big gun hits. Let's go left leg. Uh, CT. So 10 to that CT, Kev. All right, so lastly, the Jenner firing across at the exterminator. Uh, three medium lasers. Need eights here. Oh, jeez. Wah, 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 wah. We've all been there. We've all. <laughs> Poor Kevin. All right, so we're getting in a little scrap down here. Jenner's doing a drive-by kicking. <laughs> <laughs> the Wolfhound's doing a double fist, just, <laughs> just running at him with his fist, <laughs> punching him. All right, so it um, doesn't really matter who, who goes first here. Um, I will, I guess, uh, do the honors with my kick. Now, I need a seven to hit you. If I miss, this could be bad. Here we go. Uh, okay. Just a PSR, right? Getting close. Uh, okay. Cat right. punching. So, 10 and 11. Highly unlikely, but why the hell not? Which one are we doing first? The 10? We'll do the 11. All right. Going for the high number. All right. What? 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 Boom. All right. Well, uh, roll for location. That is D6. 
number five. We will have to consult no the chart is. on that. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll check it out and we'll get it right back to you guys with the damage recap. Turn four damage report on the Red Devil's side. Wraith in the Exterminator being primed by the Lyran Lance. Uh, taking damage across the CT, the left leg, and the left torso. The Catapult taking damage earlier in the game from some initial salvos of LRMs up to four points of heat. The Wolverine up to three points of heat. On the Lyran side, the seventh Donegal Guards doing okay. Lich in the Orion taking a brutal headshot, but did make his consciousness check. Otherwise, that armor's holding tough. The Hunchback looking nasty on the right arm, otherwise in good shape, two points of heat. And the Jenner getting banged up a little bit in a fist fight with the Wolfhound, but still in one piece. Turn five. It is a bloodbath. Lots of missing so far, but I think <laughs> I said this last turn. But holy crap, if somebody doesn't die this turn or somebody has been critically damaged, I'll be I'll be surprised. I'm terrified. I mean it's a it's a scrum. Uh, we have the benefit of zooming way in here on the camera because everybody is basically crammed into, you know, like a, almost a you know 12 by 12 area of this battle grid. Um, so I managed to pull out initiative, which was a huge, a huge deal. Huge. Uh, and so you had to make the first move, and we t it took us a while, probably 20 minutes, I think, off camera. It's a scrum. Deliberating, right? Uh, you know, wh whose back do I really want to show? Uh, is basically what this comes down to. So, uh, what did you do? Let's talk through wow. it. Uh, exterminator pulled out, <clears throat> going wide, <laughs> and um, firing across the way at the... Um, Banshee? Banshee, yep. yes. With the LRM-10, three mediums. Gotcha. Catapult, just walked down the hill, two PPCs and, me and actually no, full alpha strike up at the Banshee. Whoa, okay. Wolf found torso twist, three mediums into the Banshee. Well, he pulled some crazy maneuvers going over that so, hill. Right, right, right. I forgot about that. So he whipped around the uh, hunchback, came back around as if he was going to strike the rear of the Orion and the um, just turned, oh, said yeah. nope. Said no, said um, nope. <laughs> Wolverine plowed through the uh, forest line there. And uh, coming up that hill, also going after that banshee with yeah that thing, except for the larger. Yeah, so I mean, the first move I made after you moved the exterminator, um, I maybe moved the catapult first. I remember, but I planted bubbles um, again, shooting and driving, not her thing. Um, she has some pretty decent uh, target numbers this round. She is staying trained on wraith, so torso twisting. They're just in a firefight right now. Um, I've got PPCs, Auto Cannon 10, LRM 5, all going uh, his way. Um, the second move I made was, I was very bold with Lich, moved him down the hill uh, in his Orion uh, here. Um, I did expose my back. Um, that was prior to these two uh, Draconis units moving, but um, I had a plan for that. So he is also going to be firing across at Wraith um, with a full Alpha Strike. So two mediums, SRM 4, AC 10 and an LRM-10. Um, we'll build up four points of heat this turn, so gotta, gotta keep an eye on that. The Jenner uh, was the next to move, and he was here, so he whipped out, turned, wanted to claim that four mod, but keeping three medium lasers on Wraith. So I've got three mechs firing on Wraith, and then lastly, um, the last to move was the Hunchback, and I tried to block this rear line of sight um, between the uh, Wolfhound and the Orion, uh, which I successfully did to some degree. Um, and so, what he's going to do is actually shoot the catapult. The target numbers against Wraith are just far too high with that um, with that three mod here. Um, so he's at point blank range. He's within three inches there. So I have a pretty uh, attainable um, target number, and he'll be firing a full uh, a full alpha strike again. Uh, AC ten four medium lasers, and, and he'll be going up to four points of heat as well. So, are you ready? I hope. All right, here we go. All right, that torso twisting wolfhound is starting us off. A seven, which is the worst of my numbers. God bless me. Oh, geez, just one. Oh. All right, catapult is up next. Full alpha strike up at that banshee. I need fives and sixes on the mediums. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, it's a full house. Everything hits? Yeah. All right. 
give it to me. All right, so a bit of a splish splash there, but I see two hits on that right torso. Bubbles is definitely gonna be looking at a piloting check this round, and we're not done yet. Wraith is up. He's beat up, he's pissed. He needs fives and sixes. Five on the three medium, I'm sorry, six on the three mediums, five for the LRM-10. All right. <laughs> that is a full house. Oh, man. Just one cluster. All right, so another 20 points of damage. So she's up to 55 points of damage now. Yikes. All right, no That's headshots. scary die. <laughs> no headshots, but again, another smattering of damage there. It looks like left torso, yeah, left, left side. All right, lastly, the Wolverine Doc. He's firing two mediums and an SRM-6 into that Banshee. Putting the pressure on. Need fives. That's mm -hmm. it. Never standing still again. All righty. That didn't. Mm, I won't let it count. <laughs> it fell. Drop die. All right. How's that looking? Pretty, Four of them. Pretty decent. Uh, so what is that? Two, four, six, eight, eighteen points of damage. So she's going to be a minus three to her piloting this turn to make that check. Wow. You see a That's bunch in the torso. CT. Left torso, right torso. Maybe mm. no right torso. I lied about that. So lots of left torso, lots of CT, and a little bit of right arm. Ouch. All right, here we are, hunchback, torso twisting, firing at that catapult. Now, we're going with four mediums, an AC-10. I only need sixes. Here we go. All right, so everything hits. That is gonna be 30 points of damage, so piloting check for that catapult, though. Should be all right, and where can we hit? Need lots of CT here. Uh, all right, so uh, looks like we have some left arm. A lot taking, of leftage. Yeah, a lot of leftage there. Left arm, left leg, left torso. All right, so we got Bubbles retaliating against Wraith, staying on the Lance's primary target here. Uh, she needs sevens across the board. So. Here we go. Oh, boy. All right, not what I wanted. Uh, still 20 points of damage, though. Floating critical. And a little bit of right torso. All right, so, Lich. Can I do it again, Kevin? Can I just torso twist him? Mm. Ah, that's so cool. Uh, he's firing down on his arch nemesis, the other commander, commander on commander hate. Uh, I need sevens on everything except for the LRM, um, which I need an eight because he's he's right in minimum range there. So, here we go. That is everything. So we're gonna roll up some clusters here. Uh, first thing we need to do uh, is get our dice. The little ones are for the SRM, big one is for the LRM. We can roll them together since one does not impact the other. So, all but one, not a bad loadout. So this is going to be another 20, 30, uh, 42 damage. So he's up to 62 damage in total. I, or did I miscalculate? Anyway, here we go. Wrong for location. Critical hit. All right, so lastly, abstract firing into the exterminator. Uh, I need some high numbers here. I get two. Location. All right, so that is going to be left leg and CT. Turn five damage report on the Draconis Combine side. The Red Devils having a bad day. Wraith especially. Multiple through armor criticals. Multiple internal structure hits. Two fusion engine hits. Jump jet destroyed. Left leg blown clean off. And a single SRM knocks out the shoulder actuator on the left arm. The catapult getting savaged by the hunchback. Critical damage to that left arm. Up to five points of heat, so looking at a movement penalty. On the seventh Donegal guards, things are looking much better. Bubbles getting lit up, but that thick armor, the Banshee holding firm. Twisting left and right, that damage is just sponged across the board. 
the Hunchback and the Orion up to four points of heat, but this lands definitely in command of the Brawl. It's turn six. A lot has happened uh, in the last two turns. The Brawl is getting ugly. <laughs> um, so I lost initiative this round, which I think, um, as Kevin and I were discussing, these close range engagements uh, really is difficult. Um, so Bubbles moved forward just to try to get that movement mod up. I didn't want to back her up at risk of getting her out of the fight. Um, and, and frankly, you know, I feel like her rear armor is in better shape on some locations than her front. Uh, so, you know, she's just plowing ahead and will be delivering the usual payload, two PPCs, AC-10, LRM-5 at that catapult. Um, the Orion uh, backed up, actually, and turned and backed up, and will be doing the same, um, basically firing all of the short-range weaponry at the catapult. Uh, the Hunchback flashing right across the, the catapult's cockpit here, torso twisting, firing in um, just three medium lasers in the AC-10 this time. Uh, gotta watch the heat meter on that guy. Um, and then lastly, the Jenner um, did a bit of a move around about here and will be firing, uh, I'm sorry, actually will be firing up at the Wolverine. Um, I opted not to fire at the Exterminator. I figure two fusion hits, force withdrawal, um, I need to start focusing on some, some other targets here. So um, we, are, we are turning our attention away from Wraith, at least for the time being. So, Kev, how are you feeling? What do you, what do you, have, what do you have going on on your side? Uh, well, Exterminator stood up carefully. No one seems to be bothering him. <laughs> uh, but he's furious. I imagine he's he's red and, and flaming in that cockpit. Um, he's alpha striking with what he has left up at that Banshee. He's going oh, wow, to okay. excel off the heat chart and shut down. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh right, because you're getting a 10 extra heat points and an alpha strike. Wow. Um, but uh, you know he owes this well, we'll to see. the coordinator. This will be exciting. Well, we should have to. This will be one of the first times we'll actually have to hit the ammo yeah. uh, criticals on the heat chart or the ammo tests yeah. on the heat chart. So we'll have to do that. Um, be interesting. So otherwise, the catapult planted, firing up two PPCs at the Banshee, oh. the Wolverine, and the Wolfhound circled around. The Wolverine's going to be getting into the rear arc. Wolverine, I'm sorry, the Wolfhound's going to be getting into the left arc of that Banshee. Uh, Wolverine is alpha striking, Wolfhound is firing all of the mediums. Okay. Yeah, well, Bubble's not real excited about this. Um, I will say, uh, since this is uh, the declarative phase, um, I will um, be torso twisting um, when I'm firing. So I'm going to be torso twisting her to the, uh, to the right side. Um, and so that will still allow her to fire at the catapult that will still be in her forward arc. But in the physical attack phase, she's going to just punch that Wolverine right in the face with her right arm since there's no weapons uh, firing off of that. So that will be you're happening. You're getting ahead of yourself. What if that right arm doesn't exist? Well, you know, that is, uh, that is, uh, that's possible. That's possible. So shooting coming up first. And if I still have arms, physical attacks <laughs> <laughs> coming up after that. All right, here we go. All right, Jenner, torso twisting up at that Wolverine. Trying to give Bubble some support here. Um, this is a pretty rookie pilot, though. He still needs nines to hit on three medium lasers. Uh, so we will chain fire those one at a time. Here we go. Miss. <laughs> Ugh. All right, so nothing doing for the Jenner. We're going to move straight on into the Queen of Mean, Bubbles <laughs> herself, uh, firing. <laughs> Down at the catapult. Um, so she needs, this is a little weird. So four is on the PPC, five on the LRM, five on the AC-10. So fours and fives basically, here we go. All right, so everything hits. Um, rolling for a cluster. That's a minimum two pointer. That's gonna be 32 points of damage off the bat. This is what we needed. Hopefully it's not a turn too late. Location, I see lots of left leg, a little bit of left arm, and a little bit of left torso. That Orion just sighting down, backing straight up, just drilling that catapult K2 uh, right on the heels of the fire coming in from the Banshee. So he only needs fours to hit. 
so everything hits. I uh, need some dice here for my trusty SRM4. Rolling for clusters. Uh, only one. Where's a streak SRM4 when you need one? Uh, okay, so rolling for location. Here we go, Kev. <clears throat> All right, so it looks like a little more left arm and a little CT in there as well. All right, that hunchback firing at that catapult, point blank range. Uh, so the, the hunchback also needs fours. Um, so, gunnery three, one for the attacker mod, no target mod. So here we go, three mediums. I feel like I'm missing a die here, Kev. <laughs> Not two AC-10s, just one AC-10. Uh, so three mediums, AC-10, and then our pilot die. Here we go, need fours. Okay, everything hits. Uh, I'm still in the front arc there. All right, so a little bit of a little bit of a mix there. Some more on that left side. Not looking good on my side. Exterminator, Wraith, going out in a blaze of glory, turning to that Banshee, firing four medium lasers and just driving heat through the roof. He needs. Uh, seven and elevens. So I'm gonna chain fire. All right. Sounds reasonable. I'll do the sevens first, just to improve morale. That's nice. it. I need elevens. And that's courtesy of that shoulder actuator hit. All right. Sorry. Nope, we got it. So is this location? Location. All right, so that is going to be a left Seven. torso shot. Catapult got slammed, but hopefully firing off his coup de gras. Two PPCs up at that Banshee. He needs fours. Oh, that's an easy shot. Well, so you say. Yep. Almost. Almost dodged a particle cannon. Oh, Does she have head damage? No. Thankfully, it's a fresh head, but that is going to be an internal Ooh. head critical. Let's roll that on camera. Oh, boy, I'm holding my breath. Bubbles. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> to hell with you, Bubbles. Oh, my God. She's like in the bane of your existence. So just 1d6 is all you need here. No idea. What that is not a cockpit, sensor. but that is a sensor hit. That. Kevin, how do you feel about that? I feel terrible. You feel great. It's just sensors. I mean, <laughs> you, just, you just destroyed my catapult. I know, but I only have two pips left on the head, and you have two more mechs to shoot. I appreciate the encouragement. <laughs> All right, Wolf found three mediums, left arc. Wolf found needs sevens. Oh, man. So disappointed. Uh, let's move right on to the Wolverine. He needs fives. Nice, fresh model out of the game of Armored Combat. Very mm. nice. Rear, rear arc. Yeah. All right, so give me that. Hits. At least they gave me that. Those cruel gods. The cruel dice gods. Uh, so, SRM6 coming in. Everything at the rear arc. That's a lot. If it you is. Roll, if you roll a six on that pilot die, I feel like bubbles. Back of the head assassination style. I mean, it, I don't think she's living to see another day, but we'll see what happens. So many. All right. Some so CT there, though. Yeah, lots of lots of damage coming in. So we'll calculate this off camera. Kev, do you have anybody else to shoot with? I think that's the end of your shooting. Yes. All right. So we'll calculate this off camera and get right back to you with the damage recap. All right, so physical attack phase is happening here. That bubbles the Banshee fell over. The Wolverine's gonna be kicking first huh. into that right arc. Uh, but because she's prone on the standard table, it's gonna be an automatic hit based right. on mods going on. So we'll do, <clears throat> it's gonna be Six points of damage, right? Uh, 11 with the kick, right? It's divided yeah. by five. So, right. yeah, 11 points of damage. And we're just rolling for locations. Full table because she's prone. 
So that's a three, three. on the right side. That might be right that's leg. So we'll check that. Yeah, so that is right leg. Uh, so she's gonna take 11 to that right leg. That could be critical. And you wanna roll up the wolfhound as yep. well? Wolfhound needs uh, a four. Okay. In the rear arc. Yes. All right. So that's gonna be... Seven. Seven points of damage. Yeah. I believe that's a left arm. So yeah. not what you wanted, but Bubbles getting just beat up, curb stomped, mm. and there's the smoke on the <laughs> battlefield. Spoiler alert, that heat went off mm. the chart. Ammo detonation. We'll talk about all of that. It's coming right up in the damage report. Turn six damage report for the Draconis Combine. Dishonor. Knows no price. Wraith giving it all up intentionally, moving that heat meter all the way up. The ammo explodes, destroying that mech in its final blaze of glory. The catapult getting pummeled by the hunchback. Left leg gets ripped off. Left arm gets destroyed as well. That mech is down weapons and a heat sink as well. Things looking still really good on the Donegal Guard side. The Orion, hunchback, Jenner. No change in the damage, just a little modulation and heat, but Bubbles just getting blasted from multiple sides. PPC through the head, almost takes her out, but just hits the sensors instead. Left torso gets shredded, AC-10 destroyed, ammo being dumped, right leg critical. Bubbles may be down, but that Banshee isn't out yet. All right, we're back, turn seven. Uh, lots of tactical maneuvering. The seventh. Donegal Guards won the initiative. Kevin turning up snake eyes. Uh, his uh, his Red Devil's in shock with the uh, with the apparent death slash potential suicide <laughs> of their commanding officer. Um, so Kev, more misfortune. What happened? No shock. We're emboldened. We're just doing it very casually. <laughs> <laughs> so um, catapult. Failed at the moment of crucial moment. Tried to get up slowly, but fell. Uh, but he will be propping himself up, popping off a medium laser into the hunchback next to him. Okay. The wolfhound stayed still. The wolverine stayed still. The wolfhound is going to be turning left and firing into that Orion with two mediums at large. Mm. The wolverine is going to be turning to his right firing the um, full complement into the Banshee. All right. Let's see where the heat takes us. Yeah. Um, so the Hunchback, we'll start there. Very simple. Just kind of moved around, not claiming any sort of modifier. Didn't move very far, but just getting up uh, to, uh, to provide some point-blank fire uh, and also... Uh, maybe to deliver a uh, kick uh, if, if we get that far. Um, the Orion just moving up the hill. Lich not, not putting the throttle down, but, but getting in a good position here uh, so that he can deliver a telling blow to that Wolfhound. So he'll be firing um, all the short-range weaponry, AC-10, two mediums, SRM-4, into that Wolfhound. Um, the Jenner came tearing around from uh, this side of the field here. Uh, and it's going to be firing down on that Wolfhound as well with three medium lasers and then Bubbles uh, heroically standing up. Uh, they're all like, eject! And she's like, don't mansplain me. Uh, <laughs> so she stood up, backed up, uh, tried to put that Wolverine between her and, um, and the Wolfhound. Uh, and she is going to be firing point blank at the Wolverine. Uh, remember that AC-10 is dead, so that's a problem. Those PPCs are in minimum range, and he tends to hit on those. Uh, but she does have a trio of medium lasers backing those up, so she's going to be th uh, throwing those in the mix as well. Uh, we'll be picking up uh, six points of heat this turn, so we'll be putting her up to seven points of heat. So we'll see what happens. Um, exciting times, though. We'll see. Shooting coming up next. All right, Daisho, Catapult. Propping himself up however he can with that big, <laughs> big PPC goofy, barrel. Big arm. <laughs> firing a medium laser from the torso into that hunchback. He needs a seven. Nope. 
the Wolfhound turning left, firing that Orion needs a five. I didn't want to say an easy shot because I didn't want to jinx it, but don't jinx me. Fairly easy. Location. Right. It's coming into the Orion's front arc. Ew. Well, you know, it's a right arm, right leg. Yeah. All right, Wolverine last, turning to his right side there, firing an alpha strike into the banshee. This could be bad. He needs a three. Just hanging on by a thread. <laughs> wow. Right, everything hits. Don't you taunt me, that yellow die. <laughs> you taunt me. You taunt me. All right. So SRM cluster rolls, looking for three or better. Short something. Oh, I might have stolen one of your black die. I'm sorry. Hmm. At least I'm consistent with the statistics. Yeah. All right, so that's a full house. Every head. weapon. Give me that head. God, do not. Bubble. Critical hit. All right, we're going to start here with the hunchback. Looking for the kill shot. Firing down, full alpha strike, four medium lasers, one AC-10. Uh, only needs threes to hit with a prone modifier. Minus one for being adjacent. So, all right, so everything hits. Looking for location. All right, so it looks like we got a little bit of a spread here. Um, some leg, some left leg, some left torso, although those are destroyed, and then a bunch of CT. So that could bleed in. We'll see how that shakes out. All right, the Jenner firing across at the Wolfhound. That's a pretty good line of sight here around the back of that Banshee. So, uh, need sevens to hit. Here we go. All right, so everything hits. Looking for location. The sensors. What's that? Sensors. Uh, this is the this is the uh, Jenner. So, sensors still functional on this guy. Um, so it looks like a little CT, a little left torso, and a little right leg. So that Orion is up next, looking at that Wolfhound as well. Uh, only needs threes to hit. So, here we go. If only I would have rolled that on the hit. So, um, very good. I feel like I'm, I'm missing one of my SRM dice here. I need to go to the dice bank. All right, here we are, We're all in for clusters. All right, so 50-50, looking for location. All right, so there you have it. Um, nothing too spectacular. Looks like some right torso, some center torso, some left torso, or I'm sorry, left, yeah, left torso, and then some left arm. All right, and lastly, bubbles, point blank into this Wolverine. Needs tens and sevens, tens on the PPCs, sevens on the medium lasers. Here we go. So, valiant effort, but nothing on the PPCs. Uh, two of the medium lasers hit. Obviously, these uh, the, these malfunctioning sensors having a big impact. So, it looks like CT and, oh, actually, wait a minute. I'm in your right side arc here. So, yeah. um, five right side arc. What is that, right leg still? Oh no, I'm sorry, right arm and right torso. Turn seven, it's getting dirty, physical attacks. <laughs> so Kevin uh, has torso twisted the Wolverine. I am in his front arc, so you're punching me with your left arm. Yeah, um, bubbles. the old hook. The old, the old cross, yeah, the old hook. Um, I am, I'm kicking, because uh, I'm just kicking and screaming at the moment. So we each need a four to hit. You want me to miss it? Because I will. Uh, you've had just uncannily bad luck. It's all the status dice there. There's a lot of weird yellow and green. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. You hit. Location. Okay. I'm going to see if I hit first. We're going to keep it cinematic. We both hit. All right, so uh, you're rolling 1d6 for location. Correct. Do we, do we know this table? I'm not even sure we know this table. Do we have this table handy? We might. We do, right here. All right, perfect. It's a simple table, but I'm never going to remember it. All right, here we go. D6, don't roll a six. Whew. 
Is it one ahead? I hope not. It's a left arm. Okay, one is a left arm, per the chart. So Bubbles will live to fight another day. Uh, but it's in groupings of five, right? I believe the punch is just a straight up thing, but you know what, we'll check it and we'll come right back. Okay, so single group, single block of damage uh, per the rules. So six damage to the left arm. So she'll be able to, she'll be able to take that. Now the kick coming in, um, one to three is right leg, four to six is left leg, if I'm not mistaken. So. Mm -hmm. Right leg. Right leg. Turn seven damage report on the Red Devil side. Misfortune continues. The catapult Daisho attempting to stand falls down. The hunchback seeing a juicy target just drills through that left side straight into the CT and slags it. That mech is destroyed. The Wolverine gets battered up to eight points of heat and the Wolfhound gets trashed. Damage into the left torso. That mech is not looking good. On the 7th Donegal Guard side, the Orion, Hunchback, and Jen are still sitting pretty. Uh, up to 4 heat on a couple of those mechs, but Bubbles continues to get nuked. Uh, this time, punched right through the right arm, destroying the shoulder and that lower arm actuator. PPC knocked out from a through armor critical. The Yakuza trying to get some retribution, but that Banshee proving to be just an impossible target. a battlefield for the last several months with the forces of the 7th Donegal Guards facing off against the Yakuza of the Draconis Combine. But it seems like the Draconis Combine's campaign will come to an end here as they have been defeated by the Donegal Guards, but not without cost. So the final mechs here fleeing into the forest, bubbles, on her last breath there, still stubbornly refusing to eject in true House Steiner fashion. But <laughs> this campaign looks like it is wrapping up. So we're going to go to the after action report in just a minute. So stay tuned for all of that. Seventy five hundred points. Mission four. The campaign number two. Mm. Awaking the dragon. <laughs> Cut that off. <laughs> and that's a wrap. Um, it was tough. I mean, going in, I had a slight advantage from the losses that you sustained over time. I had a couple BV up on you, but I really think it was anybody's game. Um, you know, one of the turning points for me was when. I got all those floating crits, um, and then I was able to get two fusion engine criticals, heat on Wraith went sky high, hit the shoulder actuator, basically took him out of the fight. Yeah. LRM gone, too many lasers basically not hitting. But then you hit back hard. I mean, almost. There's a headshot that. Sensor, almost, almost killed Bubbles, right? right? Almost. Um, sensor critical, right? I mean, hit the cockpit, it could have been a very different game. Um, Even if I got the bubbles out of it. You know, it would have been still an uphill battle for me the whole way. I think that yeah. was just a really tough fight to stay in, but well, I, I got, had. I got you know, two, I had to fight. Two, I rolled 12 twice on left leg critical confirmations. I blew yeah. two, two left two legs clean off. Those guys were obviously training for this <laughs> uh, leading up to the mission because that uh, that does not happen too often. So you I know, enjoyed Wraith going out in style. That just, was phenomenal. Heating until meltdown. I mean, just you could imagine, you know, just pulling the trigger, uh, flames engulfing yes. the cockpit. <laughs> I mean, we need an in-cockpit view in yeah. the video. I'll work on it. I'll, I'll, I'll fiver it out to some 3D <laughs> animators and we'll see what we can get cooking. Um, <laughs> um, so, that wraps up the campaign, right? Um, yeah, there's no return, I believe. So, Draconis Combine is withdrawing. At rapid speed from the planet. Will they be back? Congratulations. Will they be back? It's possible. Well, it's possible. You know, I don't want to spoil history, but... Right. 
We will. <laughs> so that was exciting. Guys, thank you so much for watching. A um, couple exciting announcements. So first of all, the campaign rules that we've been using, um, Kevin, Tom, and I are putting the finishing touches on those, yep. sort of putting them in a little bit more of a presentable format um, for download on our website. So when that comes out, we'll drop a video, we'll walk through the rules. They are based on the Chaos Campaign rules, so it shouldn't be too far to look at, but uh, some, some other exciting tweaks in there as well. Um, mm -hmm. And then, of course, uh, we're already planning our next campaign. So A lot of exciting stuff coming. We have I some know. rules changes, maybe some minor ones we're going to work in, but I think yeah. by Campaign 3, we're going to have everything pretty buttoned up. Yeah. It's going to be exciting. Mm -hmm. We have some new ideas for campaign content. Some new 3D printed terrain coming your way. Some mm. some cool stuff that we're gonna be. Kevin in. Kevin's a workshop. <laughs> so we're gonna try to keep things interesting while we wait for this Kickstarter. Oh man! Content to be shipped out. Right, all 22 boxes <laughs> yeah. of miniatures that I'll never paint. Um, <laughs> right. You know, but listen, that's why we that's why we live. We live that's for why we have weekends. Time. Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> love 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 all those boxes of miniatures that are unpainted. So um, that's that. Yeah. Kev, great congratulations, campaign. dongles. Yeah, um, yeah, I think that's the right pronouncing. Yeah, yeah you got yeah. it that time. Um, it was a great campaign though. It was really fun. Um, uh, you know, you came out strong. We managed it. Just the, the 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 tide of steel. Yeah. You let <laughs> me believe steel. I had a chance of winning. And, uh, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it was good though. It's good though. All right, well guys, stay tuned for more. Thanks again for watching. And if you haven't, please don't forget to subscribe. Um, other than that, stay around, check out some of our other videos, and we'll catch you soon.